Our movement activity this week is by a famous pianist, a man who played piano, and his name was Frederick Chopin. And this piece is called The Butterfly. So, what we're going to need is a tree branch, and then our other hand will be the butterfly. And it's going to fly eight beats to land on the tree branch. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when it lands, it lays some eggs. And then it flies away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What hatches out of butterfly eggs? Do you know? That's right, caterpillar. So that caterpillar is going to come out and crawl eight feet up to our shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight more beats up to the top of our head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And finally, we know that a caterpillar, to become a butterfly, it has to make a chrysalis, right? So we're going to sink down and spin around and pull that chrysalis up all around us. And we're going to hide out here for a while inside our chrysalis. And we might rock back and forth a little bit. Actually, have you guys ever seen a caterpillar inside a chrysalis? and what it looks like when it comes out as a butterfly? Well, let's take a look. Wow, nature really is amazing, isn't it? So how did that butterfly get out of the chrysalis? It wiggled and it started to poke its arms and its wings out and finally it flew. And we know that this is a kind of life cycle, right? So that butterfly is going to lay some eggs those eggs will create caterpillars who will become butterflies, and that's a life cycle. So we better get another tree branch and our new butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more branch over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that butterfly is so proud of what it's done. He's proud of himself for laying eggs and keeping that life cycle going. So he's gonna flap his wings a little, a little bit more, bigger, and finally, he will take a bow. Okay, we're gonna try it with the music. All you need to do is listen to the piano by Frederick Chopin and follow along with me. Good luck! 